Welcome to the special presentation of Varsity News Now at the 2011 NCAA NDA Collegiate Cheer and Dance Championship. There's a lot of exciting routines this year here in Daytona, but the biggest buzz is surrounding the pyramid sequences. Stephanie has caught up with several coaches to have them break down their jaw-dropping, electrifying pyramids. Pyramids are unique elements to routines because unlike other skills, the entire team has to be involved. How many people are in the air at the same time, the number of transitions, the number of structures, and the wow factor. These are all things that coaches and choreographers have to think about when creating a pyramid sequence. So what kind of pyramids are we looking for? Let's take a look and see. I have a 45 minute commute each day, home and to work, and I do a lot of thinking in the car by myself and I usually, like there's stuff that I've seen that'll inspire me to try to, hey, I wonder if we can do that to get in the pyramid. So like the pyramid we do today, well, the first part of it came from, I was watching figure skating. I don't know why, I don't normally watch figure skating, but it was on and the guys took the girl and chucked her in the air and the way through, I was like, I wonder if we could use that. But didn't quite create enough power and we didn't have the momentum of skating. So we grabbed them by the arms and tried to swing them that way. It starts off uh, the two flyers on the outside and Guys grab underneath their forearms, they swing them into the inside where there's two guys waiting to catch, and they catch on a flat back, and right as it absorbs, they throw it and it rolls up to, to um, Swedish Falls. Uh, from there, they pop from the Swedish Fall immediate to 111 hitches on the inside girls, inside middle layers, um, and we double down off of that. It pops off and immediately lands, and two counts later, they the two outsides rewind up to A-frames, and then the middle girl who is just kind of chilling on the ground in the beginning, back hand swing up to the middle, so we have three girls, two and a half high. Uh, then the outsides flip off, and the middle one pops down, and we go dance. A lot of uh, what we do, some of it comes from mistake, and even uh, our front hand spring up, which I thought added variety to our pyramid, uh, that came after we couldn't get the girl from the front of the mat to the back of the mat. So um, that came from a transition. The pyramid sequence starts off with the front hand spring up into a 2-2-1. From there, she does a full down as the outsides are transitioning with what we call a yo-yo. They go up to uh, their shoulder stands, and the two center girls do back hand spring up immediate into their hitch, which tick-tocks over into a stretch uh, structure after that. From there, they front off and then roll right up into um, a Swedish fall and a one and a half down. This year, our girls do the um, one arm rewinds to the top, um, and then after that, they flip off. After the flip off, they go right into the two on ones, which um, we're very much known for our two on ones. They're very difficult with teams of 20 girls because they're actually having to do shoulder stands, holding each other up, and doing the different transitions in between can be difficult. And then at the end of our pyramid, we have one girl in the middle who, do, who holds two Swedish falls, and they flip off on the outside. Sierra, seeing all these pyramids makes me miss the days when I was competing here at NCAA College Nationals. I miss it too, Stephanie, but it's amazing to watch all the talent that's gathered in Daytona this year. Now let's check out some more of the most talked about pyramid sequences. to Varsity TV for more coverage of the 2011 NCA NDA Collegiate Cheer and Dance Championship.